I'm glad you're able to join us here for this devotional this morning or today. I want us to think about the power of him who works within us as a child of God. What does it mean? What what can he really do? What are his abilities? In Luke, the eighth chapter, we look at three events in the life of Christ as he walked this earth, as he sought to do God's will. And as he leaned upon God and sought him, we know that he was the son of God. We know that he had the power. He was equated to God and yet he had emptied himself. And so he sought God in his life. We think about what can be done. In Luke, the eighth chapter in verse 49 or 48, he had been uh, going toward a place and he had healed those that were around him and a man had come to him and he sought to go to heal his daughter. It says, and while he was still speaking, someone from the ruler's house came and said, your daughter is dead. Do not be troubled, the teacher, or do not trouble the teacher anymore. But Jesus said, hearing, but Jesus on hearing this answered him, do not fear, only believe she will be well. And when he came to the house, he allowed no one to enter the room except Peter, John, and James, and the father and mother of the child, and all were weeping and mourning for her. But he said, do not weep, for she is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead, taking her by the hand. And he called, her, saying, Child, arise. And her spirit returned, and she got up at once. And he directed that someone should, should be, that something should be given her to eat. And her parents were amazed, but he charged them to tell no one what had happened. And we go down and we look in the ninth chapter of Luke. And he had found themselves in a situation where they were tired, where they were going to a place where they could speak and teach by themselves, he and the apostles. They had been going and doing the work of God. The apostles had been going, had been sent out. And he said, on their return, the apostles told all that they had done. And he took them and he withdrew apart to a town called Bethsaida. When the crowds learned it, they followed him, and he welcomed them, and he spoke of them, learned, and spoke to them of the kingdom of God, and cured those who had need of healing. Now the day began to wear away, and the twelve came, and he said to him, "Send the crowd away so, uh, to go to the surrounding villages and countryside and find lodging and get provisions, for we are here in a desolate place." But he said to them. You give them something to eat. And they said, we have no more than five loaves and two fishes unless we are to go and to buy food for all these people. For there were about 5,000 men. And he said to his disciples, have them sit down in groups of 50 each. And they did so and had them sit down and taking the five loaves and the two fishes. He took, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing over them. Then he broke the loaves and he gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd and they ate and were satisfied and what was left over was picked up 12 baskets of broken pieces. We look at these two stories and we, we see them as amazing because they're things that man cannot actually do. We don't have that ability. In Mark, the fourth chapter, verse 37, or 30, let's say, 35. As they all had left a place and got in a boat. He said, on that day when evening had come, he said to them, let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling, but he was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. And they woke him and they said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? 
And he woke and he rebuked the wind and he said to the sea, Be still, peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? They were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? As we think about these three events, in the life of Christ and the things that he did, the things he was willing to do. He, he, he cared for this, this man and this woman bringing their daughter back to life. He, he sought to care for those who were there hearing his word and seeking him. And he took those five loaves, or those two loaves and five fishes, and he broke them in such a manner that God gave great increase. And he fed those 5,000 men plus women and children. Things that man cannot accomplish. He can't change the structure of food. He can't change this situation. You, you have five loaves in, or three, two loaves and five fishes, and it simply, you might feed your family. You don't have the ability to give the increase. Not any one of us. And then he goes and they're on a boat. And they find themselves in great turmoil, in great uh, danger uh, as far as human standards go. And Christ lay asleep. And yet when he was awakened and in their fear he came and he calmed the winds and the sea. As a child of God, when he tells us to do his will and his work, why do we doubt? Why do we doubt? We see these events in the life of Christ knowing that this one whom, whom gives all that's needed, Jesus continually kept himself going to God, seeking him, seeking the Father. Now those were all very physical things, but to, to prove that he had the ability over those great physical things. Why do we have doubt? God can heal the sinful man. He can nourish man's spiritual body. He can bring peace and calm and comfort to our difficulties, those things that we face that, that draw us away from God or can draw us away from God. He gives a place of refuge in him. You see, God's power has the ability to care for us. He, he showed us that his power was so immense that he did things that man still has not been able to truly do. We seek to do God's will. We seek to do God's work. We need to remember that it is his power that works within us. As we go about our way this week and we face the, the difficulties, the trials, as we face the situations we need to face, as we strive to teach others, remember these thoughts. If we do give ourselves over to God, his power works within us to do his will and his work. I want to thank you for being here this morning. I hope that you have some encouragement in, in this these thoughts that you might go out, that you might seek to show others the Christ. May you have a blessed day and thank you so much for being with us.